Hello dear students, welcome back to science class. Dear students, in our previous class we have started the life process that is transportation. And we have studied some of the organs which takes part in the process of the circulatory system. And today's class let us study working structure of the circulatory system. Dear students, so you know all there are the mainly three organs which takes part in the process of the circulatory system. So which are those? First one is the heart, next is the blood vessel, in the blood vessels, so artery, veins and the capillaries and next is the blood. So these three parts are very important in the process of the circulatory system. Now let us study in today's class, so how the each part will works in the process of the circulatory system. Okay, so I have studied some of the functions here. So now let us study the what working structure of the circulatory system. So what happens at first? You know all in the respiratory system what happens in the place of the lungs. So what happens? Blood will be oxygenated. So we will inhale the oxygen and that oxygen will be mixed into the blood stream. So that blood will be called as the oxygenated blood. Is it right? So in the lungs I have written here see. This is the structure of the circulatory system in the simple way I have drawn on the board here. Okay. So at first I have written here lungs. So in the lungs what happened? Blood will be oxygenated. That process in our previous class you learnt. Is it right? So now blood will be oxygenated here. So the oxygenated blood will transfer through the what? Pulmonary vein. Through the pulmonary vein. So the vein is this vein what collects the blood from the lungs and it brings to the heart. It brings to the heart and that uh, you know that our heart will be containing four chambers. So those four chambers when they will be relaxed that pulmonary vein, vein with the oxygenated blood so what happens it fills into the left atrium so you know that four chambers above two chambers are called as the atriums and below chambers are called as the ventricles so the left atrium right atrium left ventricle and the right ventricle so what happened now oxygenated blood will fills into the left atrium is it so after filling that what happened so it, that left atrium will contracts so when it contracts the blood will push it down into the ventricle through the valve V1. There are the two valves, valve V1 and the valve V2. Two valves are there. They are very important in the process of the transferring the blood from the atrium to the ventricle we can say. Because the blood should not go back to the atrium. Is it right? So in that who will help us? So valve V1 and V2. So they closes the pathway here. So that time what happens when the ventricle will contract, blood will not go back to the atriums. Understanding? So what happened now? Oxygenated blood fills into the left atrium. So now atrium will contract. When it contracts, blood will transfer to the ventricle. To the ventricle. So now blood, so that oxygenated blood will be filled into the ventricle. So now what happened? Ventricle will contract. So when it contracts, what happens? Blood will not go back to the atrium. What happens here? It pushes, otherwise it will be pumped by the heart into the main artery called as the what the aorta. So what happens? Through the aorta, what happens? Blood will be pumped with a high pressure. So what happens? Through the aorta, blood will be transferred to the all body organs. Then how it will transfer? So not only by the one artery. So, this aorta will be containing again small, small branched water. It will be containing again branched arteries. Again, those branched arteries will be containing small, small capillaries. Is it right? So, that capillaries will be attached to the each and every cell of our body. Through the aorta, through the small arteries and through that arteries to the capillaries, the blood will be transferred to each and every cell of our body. Now, blood is reached to the water, our all body organs. Understanding? So now what happened? Oxygenated blood through the lungs to the heart, to the heart to the all body organs. So now all body organs got the oxygen. So now respiration process will take place. Is it right? Energy will be produced. During the producing of the energy, of carbon dioxide will be produced. Is it right? So now what happened? That oxygen will be used by our body cells. So then now blood will become deoxygenated. What happened? Blood will become deoxygenated. And that deoxygenated blood and mixes with the carbon dioxide and other remaining waste products, what happens? It will come with the capillaries to the veins and to the main vein called as the vena cava. 
So now through the body organs, what happened? The deoxygenated blood will comes to the main vein called as the vena cava. So after that, what happened? Again, it comes to the heart. So if it comes to the right atrium, is it right? So the body organs it will be collected to the vein into the vena cava, and what happened? It comes to the right atrium. So now deoxygenated blood will fill to the right atrium. Again, right atrium, what it happens? It contracts. So after it contracting, what happens? Blood will be pushed down into the ventricle. Understanding to the right ventricle through the valve V2. Is it right? So now it what happened? Deoxygenated blood will be filled in the right ventricle. So after filling again, right ventricle will contracts. So when it contracts, again it will be pumped with uh, pumped into the water pulmonary artery. So that blood will be transported through through the pulmonary artery and it goes to the lungs understanding so right ventricle the blood will be pumped into the what pulmonary artery it goes to the lungs why it goes to the lungs for the what for the, for the oxygen for the oxygen purpose so here the blood will be deoxygenated it will be containing carbon dioxide is it right so it goes to the lungs for the oxygenation purpose so that blood will be goes to the lungs in that what happened that waste product called as the carbon dioxide will be removed out in the process of the respiration so when it will be removed out that respiration in the respiration process that carbon dioxide will be removed out so now again what happened that again that blood will be mixed with the carbon uh, oxygen again it will come with the pulmonary artery to the left atrium is it right so it is a one of the complete cycle so what happened you i hope you all understood first by the lungs oxygenated blood will come to the left atrium in the left atrium it will be what happened it will it will fill it in the left atrium then it will contract then it will push it down to the left ventricle and again for the left ventricle it will contract with the high pressure what happened blood will be transferred through the uh, aorta and uh, through that aorta what happened it comes to the in every cell of our body and what happened so that oxygen will be used by our body then carbon dioxide again it will be filled into the it will be mixes with the what blood then that blood will become a deoxygenated blood because oxygen will be used by our body organs that deoxygenated blood will transfer to the main vein called as the vena cava then it comes to the what again right atrium again to the right atrium again it contracts it comes to the right ventricle and again to the right ventricle what happen through the what pulmonary vein pulmonary artery to the what happen it goes to the lungs for the what a for a purification purpose so this is one complete cycle of what a circulatory system during this one complete cycle twice blood will go to the heart so for one is the oxygenated blood go to the heart and that heart to the again all the body organ again all body organ to the again heart again heart to the lungs so twice what happen here blood will comes to the heart so for this purpose what is it is called as a double circulatory system So it is called the double circulatory system. Understanding why it is called the double circulatory system? During the process of the circulatory system, twice blood will come to the what a heart. Is it right? Is the four chambered what you can say heart? So all human beings, maximum all the mammals, many animals will be containing a four chambered heart. So in the four whoever containing four chambered heart, so in that what happen? Double circulatory system will takes part. In some of the animals will be containing three chambered heart. So this four chambered heart helps to what to prevent the mixture mixture of the oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood. In some will be containing a three what a chambered heart and some will be containing a two chambered heart. So like fish you take means what happen it will be containing only two chamber one atrium and one ventricle. So that circulatory system will be taken part by those two parts only. Is it right? So now four chambered heart will be containing four chamber. So it prevents the mixture of the oxygenated blood and the deoxygenated blood. So this is called as what a double circulatory system. Human circulatory system is example for what a double circulatory system. Understanding. So in this process, so what we can see, blood will be transferring by in the two pathways. So the two pathways are named here: see, pulmonary circulation and the systemic circulation. What is the pulmonary circulation? The pathway of the blood from the heart to the lungs, heart to the lungs, and lungs to the heart. So what happens? So what happened? Blood will come from the what a heart to the lungs. So what happened? Heart to the lungs again, lungs to the heart. So this is called as the pulmonary circulation. The systemic circulation. 
pathway of the blood from the heart to the rest of the body parts again body parts to the what a heart so this is called as what a systemic circulation two ty two types of circulation we can observe here one from the heart to the lungs again lungs to the heart is a pulmonary circulation again uh, from the heart to the all the body organs again all the body organs to the heart this is called the systemic circulation it is about what are two two pathways of the circulation i hope you are understood the today's topic what was our today's topic working structure of the circulatory system in the human body i hope you are understood so if you have any difficulty ask me so in next class we will continue the same topic that is the transportation in the plants and other animals thank you